Hi Bob. Hi there, uh, how are you doing Bob? You're going to tell us what the open street map's about? Uh, well Bob, uh, what it is, is uh, I'm not sure if uh, many of if you've actually heard of Wikipedia, but Wikipedia is where a lot of people came along and edited some, edited some documents and then they made an encyclopedia. But what we did was we took the same idea and we decided to start making a map. And we're making a map of the entire world. So we'll be mapping in your area, but we also need volunteers in your local area because only you as, uh, as locals know that area really well. You know the history, you know where the schools are, you know where the pubs are, the restaurants are. So, uh, to make a really good map, we're helping things with cycling, there's things with wheelchair access, uh, we're helping refugee camps in, uh, in Africa, because we can just sit and trace satellite imagery from, uh, from our computers anywhere. And can anybody do this? Anybody can do this, Anybody's, it's completely free, there's no licensing, there's nothing that you need to worry about with that. So anybody can do it, anybody with a computer and an internet access. Uh, when you actually look at the map, what you'll see is something like Google Maps, it's just a big map of the world and you zoom into that data. We can do it a couple of different ways, we can actually trace satellite imagery, so we've got some satellite imagery of some places down so you can see the individual houses, or you can uh, put on, uh, you can take a little handheld device, which is sometimes a cell phone. You can walk around and it will follow where you walk. And then you trace on top of that and then you add where the pubs are and the roads are or whatever. It's, it's actually amazing when we start talking to other people about those that go out and do mapping, that uh, they discover so much about their local area. I mean, there's so many community groups that uh, you might have never heard of about and you start finding about them, you start finding about the history, about how your local community works and what's actually there, as well as like little short paths or parks or uh, cycle routes or allotments or uh, lots of things for the common good. The best mapping is always done by people who get out there and they're talking to other people and they're uh, joining in with the communities and uh, by really knowing your local area you know so much more than you can see on any other map. That includes go uh, Google Maps or Ordnance Survey because you live there. Who's, who knows better than what's in there than you do? So we're doing a bit of Soggy All Street today. Strangely enough, what we've got is we've got uh, one of our volunteers is finding out which of the places around here have act the shops have got access by wheelchair. Because a lot of some of this has already been done. We've mapped some of where the restaurants are and things like that. But uh, like, what are the point shops are more wheelchair access friendly? So that's that's today's thing. But tomorrow could be something completely different. You know, it depends whatever interests you. Really. That's great. Thanks a lot. Yeah, uh, you're welcome.